Hi, uh, today we're going to go over a double integral that we need to reverse the order of integration as you could see. We need mainly to reverse the order. The reason why it's kind of hard to integrate with respect to x. You can't use substitution if this is cubic, maybe, but we need to reverse it. The graph of the region that says we are going from x equals square root of y, that's this right here, to x equals 1, and from y equals 0, that's y, so that's y 1 equals 0 to y 2 equals 1. This is the graph. But reversing the order, instead of going from x1 to x2, we're going to go first from y1 to y2. That will make a big difference. Let's get started. So this is the question that we have. Integrating with respect to x, as you could see, I'm using different colors. Integrating this with respect to x, we can't. This is the graph that I mentioned that shows the boundary of x1 and x2. That's x1 equals square root of y. So if you square both sides, you get y equals x to the second. So that's part of a parabola. But we're taking the positive side only. X cannot be negative. If it's plus minus, we're going to see the left side. By switching the order and going dy first, we're going to have a graph that looks like this. y1 would be 0, y2 would be x to the second. And then dx will go from x equals 0 to x equals 1, as you could see. So this is what we're going to do, not this one right here. Let's get started. I'm going to take these ones uh, to the next slide so it can stay focused. No more that we're going to deal with this. So this is a new graph. To integrate this, we're going to focus on dy, mainly in red. Then we'll come back to dx, mainly in green. The red part, we integrate from inside out. Integrating this with respect to y, this will act like a constant. It's like y times 5 or 5y. So all what we need to deal with, change the y to y to the second over 2 and move on, as you could see. We're going to take our time and plug in 0 and plug in x to the second, of course, x to the second first, and subtract. When you plug in x to the second right here, that becomes x to the second to the second, which is x to the 4. And x to the second will be here. Uh, sorry, there is no y here, so we're fine. This is a constant. When you plug in 0 for the y, everything will cancel. 0 over 2 times a number. Because, as I said, this is uh, there is no y in it. So we're going to plug in anything. 0 times something is going to be 0. Simplifying this, uh, pulling the half up front, between x to the 4 and x to the 3rd, we will have 1x. And that's what we have. So now, this will go in for the second integration with respect to x, just like this. Took the half outside, out of my way. To use, uh, to integrate this, we need to remind ourselves about the u substitution. So we're going to call x to the second u. And since we have an x here, that will make it happen. Here we go. Let u equals x to the second, du dx will be 2x, and du by itself will be 2x dx. So if you want x and dx, you'll divide by 2, and we'll get x dx, this x and this dx combined will give you du over 2. Let's go back to the problem. Let's put this next to the dx, put the x next to the dx, so we could see the du over 2. And of course we'll change this to u. This becomes integration of e to the u du over 2. And we have a half outside that's going to make it 1 fourth. So far so good. Take the one half inside here, that's a half, out, 
that will make one fourth outside and integration of e to the x dx is e to the x integration of e to the u du will give you e to the u of course we're not using plus c here because we do have limits as you could see so that's what we have let's take it back instead of changing x1 and x2 to u1 and u2 let's take it back to x now it's e to the x to the second from x equals 0 to x equals 1 plug in 1 that's going to be e to the first plug in 0 e to the 0 is 1 and simplifying that will be 1 and that should do it so it's a quick short example but as you could see from my notes I try to break it down and I try to write my notes ahead of time to save some time from whoever is watching my videos that's why I call my videos lecture videos with examples I think uh, if I want to write this as I'm recording it takes away more time than what you could expect uh, I keep it colored uh, that will help a lot I think that's a dy that's a dx and that's a graph and that should do it thank you thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you next time thank you